Hi team. Well, there's a lot happening, um, as you probably know, this weekend. We've got Livermore, Livermore Day on Saturday um, with Dance, Dance, Dance uh, going down for the Group 1. We've drawn four, um, which is a great draw to have. Danielle Johnson on board. Uh, looks like it's going to be a really good day. I heard from my friend who, who is down there at the moment that um, they watered the track yesterday. It turned it into a dead five. Um, but more than likely it will be, uh, I, I would say it would be a, a good three dead for maybe um, our last time out they had, was a bit too hard and I know that they had a lot of complaints about how hard the track was. So um, I'm sure that they're, they're making that track as good as it can be um, and keeping an eye on the fact that it won't get too hot, uh, too dry and, and, and too hard for the horses. Um, wouldn't want that happening on a group one day. Uh, the other horse racing down there is um, Los Angeles and um, she's drawn six, so we've got a couple of great draws. Um, and Trudy Thornton's booked to ride her in the first. Um, both horses really training well. I think you're getting the updates from Chris uh, and Michelle at Logan Racing, so I'm really excited about how they'll perform. And they're coming down on Friday down to Cambridge. They'll stay the night at Sam Logan's, and then they'll travel down on Majestic on Saturday morning. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'll have a nice little break in between, which will be good for them. Um, it's beautiful here in the Waikato, so they, uh, a lot, and the grass is growing like crazy, so I think that they'll have a nice... They'll have that nice night um, locally. I'll go and see them both, and um, and you know on on Saturday they'll have a good trip down, hopefully, and uh, all will be well. So I'm looking forward to seeing all you shareholders and owners down there um, on Saturday. I'll be going down, um, bright as button on <laughs> on, on Saturday morning. Um, so and the other the other horse that was going to go down, we I talked quite seriously with Pam yesterday. She agreed with me. Um, we pulled her out of the red badge sprint that was Ruby Armani. I don't think that, um, I think that field was very strong. It's more like a group one field rather than a group three field. And um, we will head to the Phillies and Mears Ritual Thoroughbred Breeder Stakes at Hawera um, the following weekend. So um, that's where she'll be nommed next. Um, I think she'll have a great chance. She's very, very strong this prep. So I, I, I actually think that she'll have a much better opportunity of getting somewhere in a group race um, in a Phillies and Mears um, race rather than rather than the, the, the red badge which was open. So um, busy weekend, really great weekend of racing. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys down there. My uh, other horses, um, of course you're getting the updates from Logan Racing from some of those. Emma Lavita, she's training on really nicely plopping along there. She's just got up there but they but Chris tells me he's really happy with her. She's um, doing a little bit of gate work now so um, I'm looking forward to uh, her progress. Um, we've got the Sham Express Lady Desheen, which um, I'm organising transport up there for hopefully either either Friday, this Friday, or um, up with Majestic on uh, sometime next week. So it's just a bit of juggling because Majestic doesn't go up there all the time and uh, probably ring around for a bit of transport. So I'm just waiting to see if there's a Friday ride for her to go up to um, Ruakaka on Friday this week. And she looks just absolutely magnificent. Uh, can't fault her at the moment. So yeah, she's really, really mentally to do some more gallops and um, really go for it and uh, a good hit out up there. So um, I, I'm excited for that. Uh, we have the um, Zah Star Philly um, um, by Charm Spirit and she's training along well at Coniston Lodge doing pre-training and um, doing a lot of groundwork with her and um, she's really muscled up very, very well. She's grown into herself, she's grown up, she's mentally oh, just so much much better. I'm really happy with her progress in such a short period of time. So more than likely she will have a couple more weeks here working on the track and um, then she'll probably go out for a break again just for her to mature that extra 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 little bit. Um, always helps. I did that with Dance 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 and a couple of my others. Uh, put them out, bring them in, put them out, bring them in and it just helps with them physically and mentally. Um, who have we asked? We've got um, the Charm Spirit cult heading over to Australia soon. So he's all done and syndicated, I'm told, um, over, uh, or sold off overseas to Australia to Manny Galagotis Stables. He is more than ready for a gallop. He, he is such a lovely cult, nice legs underneath him, strong, flashy cult. Um, really exciting, excited for um, the owners of him because I think you'll be proud to get him to the race as he looks. He looks the part. He's he's got a great attitude for a cold. He's not coldy at all. He's just one cool dude, and and really excited about him. So that's that's the charm spirit. Our tiger's cult that I was talking about. 
Um, we've got hot and high heels and she is still rolling along. Obviously, we're, we're not putting pressure on her. Phil Stevens is very happy with the tendon. It's really, really, really healed well. He said that he's more than happy with her and that she's stripped very fit um, with just a little bit of work that he's been putting into her and she looks um, bigger and better a horse than he's ever seen her. So um, I would say she's not too far off from a good old gallop and we will have some more information on where she's, where, what her outlook and plan is, but it's gonna be a bit more um, uh, planned out, as I said before, we're not just gonna to go to any old race, there's gonna be a plan set in place for her. So I'll keep you updated as, as, as things go along. As to with um, Steppenwolf, um, he's not far away from getting to the races too, but I do have to have a, a further chat with Peter and see exactly where he will be going. Um, who else we've got uh, um, training along? I have quite a few horses coming in and out and um, it's exciting to see them all doing really, really well. And um, the two-year-olds are really exciting. Um, and uh, I think this time, this spring, this summer is um, gonna be a lot of bloodstock achieving excellence horses out there that uh, are doing well for their owners and their, their, their shareholders. And uh, I, I'm quite excited about that. So. Um, I oh, will keep you updated with everything else, but more importantly, we're looking for this weekend at Hastings and um, those two horses um, right, uh, fl flying the flag for Bloodstock Achieving Excellence and uh, good luck to your team. I hope both your horses do well. They've got big chances in the, both of those races. So I'll see you there and that's Backs on Track.